What's going on boys? Welcome back to episode number 20 of the Pure Iron Man series. Once again, just want to say thank you to everyone who's been commenting, liking and subscribing. Um, and to celebrate, we will be doing a bond giveaway. So if anybody wants to leave a comment on this video, you'll automatically be entered as well as liking and making sure you're subscribed. So yeah, do, don't forget to drop a comment as well as like the video and you'll automatically be entered in the next episode. So we're going to get a lot of things started today we're going to be doing some of the slayer that we needed to get done but first as always we're going to get into the medium clue scrolls and the easy clue scrolls so we still decided that we wanted to go back to entrana because this means you can't get any weapons or armor with the easy clues and because we've got all the um robes that we need and we can just open them up here and it gives you an increased chance of getting some pages we have so far only completed the bandos book um, which is the book of war which is a good one because it does give strength bonus and that is our best in slot for that um guffix pages it will almost be completed with guffix book after these have opened because i'm pretty sure that that is a page that we don't have which is nice um, we also get a lot of teleports which also come in handy for the master scroll book um, lots of purple sweets I think we're over 200 now so I think I'd be pretty confident in doing a fire cape in the next couple of episodes I think I say this a lot but I keep putting it off because we don't really have much need for it but um, in regards to the poll that I did yesterday just quickly um, we will be looking to get uh, the Iron Zerker series started. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd be more interested in a PvP Hardcore Iron Man or if you'd be more interested in a Iron Zerker. Um, I think the 45 Defense Zerker would be pretty cool. Um, it's, this will be running alongside this series as well because we're going to be spending a few weeks training up the stats, probably get like 90 strength um, just so we can get ready for the final phase of season one of this because the um there will be many series to come because we have a lot of uh, grinds in the future and we want to keep posting videos so uh as you see we've got um all four pages of the guffix book complete now which is nice that gives you the book of balance um that is four plus four and everything so that's nice because we don't have any range bonus for the shield and we do now have plus four on that so that is a really nice upgrade um it's obviously not as good as the book of law but it will be a pretty good upgrade Moving on to the next bit, we decided while we were doing some Wildy Slayer, I just thought I'd try out Callisto. I've never actually killed it before and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can get about, I don't know, between 6 and 10 kills an hour. It's very slow. Um, I was using Diamond Bolts E as well as the Cannon and like I said, we did manage to get some nice loot though. Uh, we picked up some 100 Magic Logs. Uh, we picked up some Limpwort Roots. These are pretty handy for our Herb Lore. Um, we managed to get two Limpwort root drops, I believe, and five Rano seeds. Five Rano seeds is actually an incredible drop. Um, that's a lot of uh, prayer potions. Um, but we didn't do the full task here because literally that probably would have took a week in its own. Obviously, it six to ten kilos an hour, like eighty of them. That's like eight hours worth of work. So, yeah, I thought I'd give them a try at least. Anyway, uh, we move back into Wildy Slayer. Uh, you'll see us unlock quite a few things we managed to get 86 range that's really nice we'll be moving on on our way up to 90 soon which would be pretty good um we also did some ents uh that was a nice slayer task is i didn't really bother chopping the lugs but we got 66 slayer from killing the ents um and then after that we uh got back into wildy slayer again doing some black demons black demons are a really nice task uh, lots of xp 67 slayer from them um, and then we pretty much just went through after that and opened up a lot of our Laren's keys So these are really good. You can get dag and high pieces, which is pretty cool if you have defense But unfortunately, I don't have defense um, And also you can get a lot of ores and stuff like that, which are all handy uh, dragon darts and dragon arrows um, These are pretty handy and look at that like we got a dag and high piece uh, Not very many kill count either um, And I was pretty crazy to unlock that actually that would have been really good if I was doing the iron circus series um, and no doubt that we will come back and try and do that again um, obviously using our wilderness sword that we unlocked in the last episode um, I do really like using these Laren skis actually I think I would do wildy slayer even if I had the opportunity to um, do other slayer the only thing is I've unlocked a lot of gear that I will lose after level 20 wilderness like samurok halo and stuff like that which would be cool to use but it's not the end of the world I just look a bit like a noob while I'm doing these slayer tasks in my blue dehyde chaps um, but yeah it's not the end of the world also managed to get quite a lot of gems and alcables which is nice um in the next episode i think we're going to do a bit of a special episode i actually thought this was in episode 19 but for episode 21 i think we're going to do something pretty interesting i've had a few good ideas but for now we're going to just be afk in the strength over the next week or so and then we'll be introducing the new series as well 
Um, so yeah, we're just finishing up with our final sets of Laren's keys. Obviously, you get a lot of dragon, dragon darts and dragon arrows. They'll be handy for if we ever get a twisted bow or we go PK with a dark bow or something like that. I think I will be doing a PK trip soon as well, which would be pretty interesting. Um, but obviously, we're quite limited to what gear we can use, but it's not the end of the world. 100k coins is a really nice drop. Um, we also get some more iron ore, uh, also very handy because we've been using a lot of cannonballs. We actually went through about five, six thousand in this video, which is actually pretty crazy. I uh, managed to get a few hard clue scrolls done as well, and we'll be showing them now. Uh, I was just thought I'd show the steps that we were doing, um, just so it makes our gr uh, grind a little easier. The puzzle boxes are really easy. I would literally be so stuck without Rune Light Climb, but obviously everyone's in the same boat and everyone has access to them now, so it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, if anybody does want to leave a like and a comment on the video and they're enjoying what they see so far, that's very much greatly appreciated. Um, and I'm just showing off how you do the puzzles in case anybody was wondering. Some people said they like seeing the uh, in-between parts of the videos and the little bits, so I thought I'd show all of the clue scroll in this episode. I actually got really blessed with a lot of these steps um, and we're also trying out our little obelisk that we unlocked in the last episode from the Wildy Hard Diaries. Uh, thought I'd show that off, it's actually really handy, especially when you do a Wildy Slayer, you can literally just teleport to anyone that you want to, pretty straightforward. I did just have visions of me dying completely on, on one of these, I'd be so annoyed if I lost the clue scroll at the end of this, but overall you know what we're looking for we're looking for the black dehyde chaps uh we still haven't managed to unlock those and even if we're even luckier we could maybe even get some zamorok chaps which would be nice um when i dug this we managed to find out that we could do the clue scroll step as well got a little bit scared at port tyrus but i realized that that is unlocked from the regicide quest which is decent um and once again we have another puzzle to complete and then that will be the clue scroll completed um so yeah I think I will be grinding out quite a few hard clues. Um, I'm pretty sure killing rogues or pickpocketing rogues in the wilderness because we have the Ring of Wealth Eye uh, makes it the best way to get hard clues, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we got one final step and that is our friend um, in Ottawa's Grotto, which is nice. And we actually managed to obtain the casket. All straightforward stuff. Didn't even have to drop any of it. Lovely. So here we go. We're going to move on into the casket. And we get ourselves Black Dehyde Chaps, finally. We've been looking for them for a long time now, um, and we've actually got them. So that is a real nice upgrade. Um, obviously, we've been using Red Dehyde, which we managed to kill Red Dragons for. But we're almost at the um, level for completing the um, crafting level for the Black Dehyde Chaps. So we will get that done soon as well. We also went straight back in and got ourselves a Hard Clue Scroll again after black, from some Black Demons. Um, and it turns out instantly you either find out instantly most of the time I, as soon as I get it I open it and then I have to drop it straight away because it says like Lunar Io or something like that where you need defense but not in this case and we will see that we can complete this one as well once again really straightforward steps I think I had a few duplicate steps from the last episode as well um, and overall just really enjoying the Slayer grind it's going to take us many weeks to get back into the to get up to 87 Slayer should I say we want the Trident we want to do some Zora we want to get the Toxic Trident as well as the Blowpipe um, and in the next episode we'll have the goal list back however I do have a pretty special video planned if all goes to plan um, and it will be pretty interesting and it's going to make us a lot of money and then we will be able to go straight into the bossing grind as well I had to go out to the desert for the final step. Um, easy enough to get to. Obviously, it's a bit annoying having to run to the shanty pass, but there probably is a quicker way of doing that. And we get ourselves another casket. So in this casket, we will be getting a, another pair of black dehyde chaps, which is really, really nice. Um, and that is the end of the hard clues for now. We used up some of our mossy keys. Uh, this boss is a free to play boss, I think, but I just seen him in the bank and I thought I'd give it a go. I think we've done a few kills in previous episodes. So yeah, I was getting a little short on money, so I thought I'd give them a go as well. Also found a grubby key in my bank and apparently this gives you some potions and it can give us some brews and restores, which would have been nice. However, we didn't really get much luck and we got an egg sack, but I don't really think that's much use to us for a minute. Um, and then just to end off the Slayer Grind for the rest of the video, we actually get another massive unlock. Uh, as you would have seen in the last episode, we got the Herb Sack. And after the end of this episode, we managed to get ourselves the Room Pouch. Um, this is another crazy unlock. There's many different ways you can get it, but I just thought I would do it this way because we need to get a Slayer up anyway. 
So yeah, 750 Slayer points for the rune pouch. Uh, holds up to three sets of runes. Obviously, you can get the thing from raids to make it go into four sets of runes. But yeah, it's a crazy unlock for us. Um, and that is pretty much where we're going to be ending off the end of the video, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And let me know how I got on and what you want to see from me in the future. So once again, thanks you all for watching and cheers.